Hi guys. Uh, this morning I watched a vid video by Nisi71, and it was basically a farewell, see you later uh, video to Google and YouTube. She just couldn't handle the, uh, you know, the invasiveness of their whole policies. So she said she's out of here. And she directed me to another video on Fox News, which goes over the whole policy change, which goes into effect the same time uh, Yahoo's making this big change, the 1st of uh, March. And I got thinking about it afterwards, and you know, I, there's a lot of people that I don't think really are aware of, of different uh, steps you can take to protect your privacy on the internet. So I decided I'd make a video and just kind of go over some of these issues. And uh, these protections that I'm going to include that cover the internet threats, they also cover roving eyes, if you will, you know, at the workplace or, or at home or wherever. It's just uh, means by which to keep your, your information private, whatever that may be. Anyway, uh, you should watch the link before you really go through the material, which I'll include on the uh, in the description box. Watch the video on Fox News, and that'll give you a better idea as to what what I'm referring to here. Uh, so, the first thing I'm going to say, the best thing, in my opinion overall option will be to use a Linux-based operating system like Ubuntu. It's way better than uh, Windows Explorer, but oh, any Windows anything. It's open source, all open source. And, but it it's, takes a while to, make, to learn how to use that operating system and, and to you know, learn how to navigate through it. So not everybody's going to be willing to make those changes. So the next best thing you can do is to uh, set your browser up the best you can to, to ensure privacy. Um, I would strongly advise anybody that still uses Internet Explorer to get rid of it. I mean, it's, that's the haven for the worms and the viruses and the, you know, and the bad things that happen. You don't seem to get nearly as much if you stay off that Internet Explorer. Uh, I use Google Firefox as my as my uh, primary browser, and then I use SRWare Iron as my secondary browser, which can be set up pretty private too. It's a sort of a, a takeoff from uh, oh, whatever it is, Google Chrome. Anyway, the first thing I'd say is to stop using Google as a search engine. Our Yahoo or Bing, they're just as bad. There's several different options out there that don't save your history and your uh, and don't track, you know, the websites you go to and so forth. Um, some of them being Blind Search is a pretty good one. Start Page is another one. Uh, DuckDuckGo, and there's more. But I would stay away from using uh, Google Search unless you absolutely have to and and if you're going to use it, if you insist on using it, one of the best things you can do is to uh, is to not use the search. And and if you are going to use it, set it up so that I mean, not use the uh, uh, search suggestions. And if you're going to use it, set it up so that when you turn off your browser, it clears that out. Now I'm going to kind of kind of. Uh, Go over Firefox because it's it's pretty easy to use. It's a good, it's a good browser and they got a lot of add-ons. Uh, the first one that comes to my mind is uh, is a better privacy, which will protect you from the so-called super cookies or flash cookies, LSOs, whatever whatever you want to call them. But they're a new generation cookie which offer unlimited user track into industry and, and uh, marketing research. And concerning privacy, I think flash cookies is probably one of the more critical things you can take care of. And this, uh, the uh, add-on better privacy will, will in fact do that for you. And you can set it up 
uh, with exceptions are to to not not accept any at all or to you know you can set it up t to your liking um, and you know basically never never accept third-party cookies right off the bat and some other Firefox add-ons that work really well is uh, HTTPS everywhere and that automatically uses HTTPS uh, security on many sites that you'll visit there's Cookies Killer, which does exactly what it implies. There's a new one, DeSopa, which was designed to circumvent the uh, SOPA regulations. And that uh, automatically evades DNS connection and connects you directly through to your website's uh, IP, which is a good deal. Disconnect stops third party parties, third party, third parties from tracking web pages you go to. Uh, secure sanitizer, that's really a good deal. When you turn your browser off, it cleans everything out, your cache, and it does a, it does a, a three-step overwrite, uh, which is basically the U.S. Department of Defense method. And another good thing you can do is to uh, flush your uh, DNS, which can be achieved through, achieved through a simple prompt command, and it uh, it'll it'll flush all the uh, DES, DNS off out of your computer. I mean, all of these things help to assure a pretty safe and secure, secure uh, internet experience. As far as software, I would strongly suggest that you download and use C Cleaner. Um, it's very fast, very efficient, and it's a general sweep of your system. And it actually replicates some of the results achieved by using the above, you know, the software that I mentioned before. And it rids your computer, computer of unnecessary junk that only tends to slow it down. And especially if you're using Internet Explorer, I would run CCleaner on a daily basis. And you can tweak IE to, to take care of some of this stuff too. Uh, this next thing I would download and install Vidalia Bundle, which will connect you to the Tor network, which assures your anonymity while using the internet. It's a roving proxy, and you can change your identity with a click of the mouse. Uh, it's a good overall protection. Uh, if you're really concerned, you can download and install Hotspot Shield. And that will also assign different ISPs as well as change your IP and, you know, it assures an anonymity as well. And it works side by side with uh, Tor, so you won't run into any arguing going on in the background. And, you know, those are just some of the things. And they're all free and they're all simple to install and use. Uh, even to novice users. So it would be well worth considering making some changes in your habits. And you know, it's a shame that we have to do this. It, it, it would, you know, just to do the same things we did so freely a few years ago, and now you have to be really concerned uh, with the ever-increasing police state and, you know, the surveillance techniques, and they want, you know, know every single thing you do. It's just prudent to take some extra steps. Take the time to set your browser up the right way. Uh, download the software. Use it. You know, I use the, I, I'm connected to the Tor network 24/7, all the time. And uh, you know, it just makes it a lot more difficult for anybody to tr track what you're doing and and just stick their nose in your business. It's it sucks. And uh, a lot of people are, to change the subject a little bit, a lot of people are moving over to uh, Zipcast and getting getting away from YouTube completely. And, you know, there's two sides to every, co every coin. We'll find out about Zipcast. I, in fact, have, a, have done that as well. I have set up a, a page over there, and it's really nice. It's like the old YouTube, the original YouTube, you know, with all the same features plus some more. And there's a lot of kids on there, uh, but, you know, it's, there's a lot of kids on YouTube, too. We just don't see them because we've set our, our world up in a little different different way. 